Everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Jordan Report, and I'm your host, Robert Jordan. Everyone, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, guys, this is the second time I reported on Ventura County, California. During the pandemic, when the first part of the pandemic started, these were the guys that had threatened to quarantine people against their will, sometime in their own homes and sometime in the place of their choosing, of the county's choosing. The guy's name was Dr. Robin Levin. He pops up in this story. This is the newer story. I had already heard that they were limiting visits to uh, nursing homes in California, but this is the first documentation where they actually quarantined the whole building against the resident's will. Now I'm gonna go through this article real fast. I'm gonna show you a quick clip of Dr. Robert Levin talking. Forest County COVID-19 lockdown of Ventura apartment buildings on Palm Street. On July 17th, Ventura County forcibly locked down a seven story public housing apartment building on Palm Street in Ventura. You can view the lockdown order and the letter from the building manager below. The order claims its authority emanates from California code blah blah blah. It says the order shall remain in force until rescinded by the health officer in writing. That's Robert Levin. Violation or failure to comply with this order may result in civil detention and is a misdemeanor, misdemeanor punishable by imprisonment, fine, or both. We were told, and the letter from the apartment manager states, that the building is locked down. Quarantine is mandatory until results are received. No one is allowed in or out of the building except essential workers, and that the COVID-19 testing in the building is mandatory. Here's the order, people. Here's the order from Ventura County, California. Okay? 717, and here's another one. Due to the recent COVID outbreaks, the building has been ordered mandatorily, man, had ordered mandatory testing and quarantine for all residents. Except for essential workers, no one will be able to enter or exit the building during the lockdown. Security, per, security personnel will be posted at all entrances of the building 24 seven a day. All residents' key cards will be deactivated during the lockdown. That means these people are unable to leave. We spoke to the Ventura County Health Officer, Robert Levin, who told us he was unfamiliar with the details and would get back to us shortly. He called within a half hour and told us the following. The building is run by Ventura Housing Authority and has elderly and behavior health cases living there. 74 units in total, mostly single. Some residents are mobile, some not. As residents fail, was a resident fail was hospitalized and tested positive for COVID-19. The building management went on full alert. Common areas had been shut down, but they also disabled the keys and the residents could get back in if they had left and returned. Some called the police, who told the management they couldn't do that. So the county health department was involved and quarantined the place at the management request, Levin told me. Two more residents tested positive, t became ill, tested positive. As a result, and, and after the results came in today, 720, only one more positive. The lockdown was rescinded, but residents were asked to avoid interaction, going out to wear masks and social distance. Dr. Levin is recommending retesting in a week or two. Okay, let me show you the building. It's a pretty big building. Okay, this was all under lockdown. They just locked these people down. Now I'm gonna show you Dr. Levin talking. It's a quick clip, it's like a minute, and then we're gonna get out of here. And again, we'll isolate every one of them and we will find every one of their contacts and we will make sure that they stay quarantined and we'll check in with them every day. We're gonna do a more complete job and we're gonna do a more meticulous job of making it less and less possible for others in the county to run into someone with COVID-19 infection. It's not just our county, there are gonna be thousands of, of people hired who will be these contact investigators throughout the state and this is occurring in many many other states as well perhaps all the states in our country um, we will be giving intensive training to these people identifying and finding contacts some of the people we find are going to have trouble being isolated for instance if they live in a home where there's only one bathroom 
and there are three or four other people living there, and those people don't have COVID infection, we're not going to be able to keep the person in that home. Every person who we're isolating, for instance, needs to have uh, their own bathroom. And so we'll be moving people like this into other kinds of housing that we have available. See, that's what he's talking about, people. It won't be long before they can come to your front door, put a quarantine notice on you, and lock you in your own home. That's what's coming.